It's like it's become a, an extreme sport. Yeah, yeah if you go could and experience. Go to that. the visitor center, yeah. take a picture, and go. go and right. Fine. Um, Dana and I were just talking about this. What's the warmest temperature you've ever been in? Oh temperature. Gosh, I have no idea. Is this something only that weather we need to keep yes. track of, you think? I yeah, I don't no. think I've ever kept track of that. Over 100, you think? Probably. Yeah. In Maine, it's rare, though, so we're somewhere else. Somewhere else. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't keep a journal like that. All right, fine. What is yours? Experience. What a wait. <laughs> it was in Vegas. We went in July. Oh. Mm. And it, it, it wasn't for the, that. It was because it was really cheap getaway. <laughs> In, in July, July. Right. yeah, like of uh, we quickly learned why that was the case. But <laughs> anyways, um, that would be I, okay. This is another thing I should know off the top of my head. Warmest temperature ever recorded in Maine. <sighs> okay, Chris, are looking up while I'm doing this. I'm gonna say 100. <laughs> you have a meteorologist right over there. Three. I know, but Dana's doing other stuff. Or someone look it up and let me know. I'm going to say 103. <laughs> All right, here's a look at our line of showers and thunderstorms out there right now. we got quite a few, and they pulsed up a lot out towards Sebago Lake. Anybody who's on the lake or has friends that are out there, you want to get off it pretty soon because we've got a whole line of thunderstorms rolling through Parsons Field and then into Sebago just on the north side of the lake, especially non-severe, but quite a bit of lightning there. We do have a flash flood warning in effect, and this is just, again, we know that the soil is so saturated here, so this is heavy downpour over the same spot, valid until 7.15 this evening. And then we've had a couple of storms down here in the West Paris area that have looked a little spinny to me. Nothing has been reported, but they've looked like they've had maybe at least a little mid-level rotation because of the bottom part of them that's kind of come out and that sometimes indicates that. So we got a lot of thunderstorms out there. They'll continue over the next few hours. We'll let you know if any of them were warned as severe or flash flooding or any of that. And then this continues around 8, 9 o'clock tonight. Everything dies down. After that, it's sticky and partly cloudy tonight. And tomorrow's a really pleasant summer day. It's 80 to 85. There is an isolated chance for a shower. You can see popping up here and there. But I think there's so few of them around that it won't really be a detriment to the day. We'll mostly be in good shape. And then dew points fall overnight on Wednesday night. And uh, Thursday is looking really nice. I think Thursday is going to be one of the most popular days in a long time, upper 70s to around 80 degrees, a lot of sun and lower dew points. So it's finally kind of comfortable. Now I'd love to say we keep that vibe for the weekend, but we don't quite. It looks like some showers come in here at least Friday afternoon. Some models have it turning into really more consistent rain Friday afternoon into Friday night. And then Saturday is a mixture of sun and clouds with scattered showers off and on throughout the day. So a little unstable. We should do better though for Sunday, which looks solid right now. Not a zero chance of rain, but a lot of us will be dry on Sunday, which will be nice. We haven't done that too often. All right, so that's where we're at. Um, I like tomorrow. I love Thursday, and then I, I don't. I think the weekend is fine. I think Sunday will help, um, and then it's into a decent stretch straight through Monday into the mid 80s. What do we got? What's the answer? Well, it took three people to do your job. But 105, yeah, 105. Okay, so I said 103. 105 is 105 yeah. is high for an air temperature. And where was it? Bangor, I didn't say says? well. Where? Bridgeton. Uh, Bridgeton. Bridgeton. Yeah. I was going to say Bangor. That's really. That's really strange. So that's interesting. Bridgeton doesn't have an official station. Right. So that might have been. But I buy a little over 100. Maybe in 1911 it did. Yeah. And you know what I'd love to know? What If there's a what sensible difference today? between 108 and 124. It, as far as oh, if right. you're out there for 10 or 15 minutes. You know, like cold is cold. Right. But then once you reach a point, it's just hot. All right. Continue on with the show. I'm okay. sorry. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs>